F-15EX Eagle II, the Air Force's new fighter can almost hit Mach 3. The Boeing F-15EX Eagle II is an American all-weather multi-role strike fighter derived from the McDonnell Douglas F-15E Strike Eagle. The F-15EX is expected to replace the F-15C or D in performing homeland and air defense missions and also serve as an affordable platform for employing large standoff weapons to augment the frontline F-22 and F-35. The new Boeing F-15 EX Eagle II fighter jet's potential to reach nearly Mach 3, announced at the Singapore Air Show, evokes memories of the golden era of jet technology. This speed is achievable in a clean configuration, without external add-ons, emphasizing the jet's aerodynamic efficiency. With twin engines providing 29,500 pounds of thrust each, the F-15EX's speed approaches that of historical aircraft like the SR-71 Blackbird, albeit with limitations. Combat conditions and munition speed ratings will restrict its operational speed. Despite these constraints, the F-15EX's engine power and design advancements signal a significant leap in fighter jet capabilities, marrying past achievements with modern technological prowess. Airplane performance specifications don't often make the news anymore. The tempo of aerospace development has slowed since the earlier eras of jet technology, when speed and altitude seem to be constantly falling, as experimental aircraft like the X-1, X-15, and A-12 took flight. So, the chatter yesterday that the new Boeing F-15EX can reach nearly Mach 3 hearkened a bygone era when the media and the public paid attention to things like an airplane's top speed. At the Singapore Air Show on February 21st, Boeing's F-15EX program manager boasted that the jet could reach nearly Mach 3, but with some caveats. The near Mach 3 speed is attainable only in a clean configuration. A clean configuration is when a jet flies without external pylons, munitions, or sensors reducing angular surfaces and making the jet lighter and more aerodynamic. As Aviation Week reported, the not-to-exceed speed of the twin-engine fighter is about Mach 2.9, or about 2,225 mepi at sea level, Novotny said. That puts the top speed of the Eagle II within about 80 melatarzer of Mach 3, a speed only a few aircraft powered by gas turbines have achieved. Yet Novotny emphasized that the F-15EX would not be approaching the Mach 3.2 top speed of the revered Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. Remember, we're testing the F-15EX when it's clean, Novotny said, so it's not carrying a bunch of stuff on it. And in that airshow configuration, with the two big GE-229 engines, it's putting out 29,500 pounds of thrust per side. To be clear, 29,500 pounds of thrust per engine, or 69,000 pounds total, is a massive amount of thrust for a fighter jet. The Redstone rocket, which launched Alan Shepard and Gus Grissom's Mercury capsules into lower reaches of space, had 78,000 pounds of thrust, just 9,000 pounds more than the F-15EX. But again, the F-15EX will not be reaching its speed potential in combat conditions. In combat conditions, the speed of the F-15 will be dictated by the equipment it is carrying, Aviation Week reported. For example, a Raytheon AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missile, HARM, is not rated for speeds over Mach 1.2. That's why I don't think we can get much higher, Novotny said. That will be the limiting factor on this plane. The store's speed limitation, not the plane itself. And as Forbes reported, an additional factor which Novotny did not mention was how much fuel the EX was carrying. The Eagle II can carry a reported 13,550 pounds of internal fuel. Cutting the airplane's fuel load by half or more could save over 6,700 pounds, enough weight to make a substantial difference in the jet's thrust-to-weight ratio. Even in clean configuration, achieving a Mach 2.9 speed or beyond 
would be extremely stressful to the F-15 EX's engines, which would likely reach their thermal limits at such speeds. Even if they could push the EX beyond Mach 2.9, the engines would likely need to be refurbished after such a flight, or at minimum have much reduced fatigue life before replacement was necessary, Forbes reported.